are. Glory be to God. I want you to know we're serving a good God tonight. Everybody's here. I hope you're primed up and ready to go. We got a lot of singers tonight. Amen. <laughs> Glory be to God. I, 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 I'm glad to have, well, this young gentleman here. We're glad to have him with us tonight. Yeah. I forgot your name. Eddie Rich. All the from Zion, Oklahoma. But yeah, we're glad. Glad to have, uh, glad to have uh, the Wade, Wade family with us. Uh, glad to, I don't know this one. Where are you from? Mulberry Holler. Mulberry Holler. That's just a skip of the jump from where I live. From Rocky Mountain. Well, anyhow, we're glad to have everybody here. Uh, many requests. Is there any requests before we open up the sing? We're going to open up with prayer. And I want to pick up any requests that needs to be made known. Prayer requests. <laughs> There was a wreck today. There was a wreck over on Bunch Road. There was a person that died in this wreck. I don't know who it was, uh, but the Lord knows who it is. Uh, let us keep that family in prayer. Let's run the service this night. Amen. Glory be to God. Uh, all right. Uh, I do want to stress before we do open up with prayer, we do have sign. If I come up here, please, we want to stress no food or drink in the sanctuary. Appreciate it. Uh, the sanctuary ain't a place for that. Uh, drink while we got fellowship halls. Okay. All right. Let's all stand. And uh, uh, let's, let's open up a prayer. Gracious heaven, the Father, we come before you through the blood that we shed upon Calvary. Lord, we ask that you will touch us this evening, Lord. We pray for these prayer requests. Lord, we ask that you will touch us. Glory be to God. We pray in all that thy will be done. Lord, we pray that you bless the singing. We ask that you anoint each and every song that's sung here tonight, Lord. Father, we preach your holy name, Lord. In the name of Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. We, as far as I know, if I understand, we got, we got two groups here. I think uh, we got Eddie's group, and uh, <laughs> we got front front porch gospel, and then we got the Wavy Boys. And uh, I think right now, what we're going to do is we're going to let Eddie take over, and then we're going to let let the uh, Wadey boys take it after that. Uh, and uh, come on, Eddie, I'm going to let y'all take take control here. Okay. Praise the Lord. Tell us for short, man. 
Praise the Lord. <laughs>
Thanks on every hand or shut up this story. There's something we to pray. Get back to heaven shore and back and feel at home in this world and you. Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you. Heaven on my home, and Lord, what will I do? The angel back in me, from heaven's open door, and I can feel at home in this world of evil. And I can't feel at home in this world of evil. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, as you can tell. I love bluegrass. Love bluegrass. Me and the wife went down to Walden, Arkansas several months ago, a couple of months ago, and listened to the big turkey track bluegrass deal down there. I could have been down there every night, but I didn't. And we got there at noon and and, uh, and listened to good bluegrass gospel from 1 o'clock till 9 o'clock at night. And guess what? I stayed right there and listened to it all. I can listen to, I can listen to bluegrass. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. Next to Johnny Cash. Yeah. There really ought to be a sign upon my heart. Don't judge him yet, there's enough in his heart. I'll be perfect just according to the plan, fashioned by the master's loving hand. He's still working on me, made me what I ought to be. Took him just a week to make the moon and star. Sun and the earth and Jupiter and how loving and patient he must be. He's still working on
Everybody hear me all right? No. <laughs> Redo it. <laughs> Redo it. Don't run off. They never can hear me. Uh, I can hear you. Can hear you now. This is working. Yeah, but they're not hearing me. Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. They say it's all right. Oh, 
天意。God, it's good to be here this evening. Amen. <clears throat> good to know that we serve a living God. Yeah. Good to know that uh, no matter what kind of virus has come, and, and there's probably going to be more, uh, we've still got the victory. Amen. Amen. Um, There's a lighthouse on a hillside that overlooks life sea when I'm tossed at sea. How do I like the light that I might see? The light that shoots the dark.
somewhere and, and uh, really liking the food and uh, first thing I do is tell somebody about it brag about that that restaurant or that food and uh, I, then, uh, the Lord laid it upon my heart that, um, that that's all right but we need to be that way with him Amen. all the time Amen. bragging on our God bragging Amen. on Jesus Amen. And, and there's there's plenty to be said yes. on uh, for yes. good on his part. Uh, he's he's never failed me, never done anything bad. And 
there, there's, a, there's some people that sings a song that says, He ain't never done me nothing but good. And, and that's, that's true. And, and He never will do anything but good. Sometimes it may not seem good at the time, but uh, He uses all things to work for our good if we love Him and we're called according to His purpose. Um, I should have wrote some songs down like Zay did. <laughs> uh, yeah. But it's good. I'm going to try to sing this song. If you know it, help me out. <clears throat> if I don't forget the words. If I do, I'll just keep on singing. G, kid you. I was on a mountain wandering from the fountain then I heard my Savior speak to me He said come to me relenting I have heard your sin repenting I will lead you
Is this too loud? Nope. No. Not right. Praise God. Well, I may know about it. Everybody got somebody. Tell everybody what somebody made a good change in my life. He saved my soul and he made me do what nobody else could do. I'm telling everybody about the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody got a hold of me one day. Lift me up and change my ways. Say goodbye and fill me away.
Good to be here. I uh, enjoyed the singing already. It's been good. <coughs> Indian hymns, though, I didn't hardly uh, recognize a lot of them because uh, usually when we go somewhere, everybody's wearing a cap. Yeah. And I, I didn't even know if they had hair on top or not until now. <laughs> but it's good to be here tonight. Stay. 
birthday yesterday. She turned a big 10 yesterday. And we had a good time last night with her. And I want to get her to do a song with You know, this one sing along with us too. You got the whole world in this hand. He's got the whole world in this hand. He's got the whole world in this hand. He's got the whole world in this hand. You got the whole. Oh. 
tonight and thank thank the Lord for that. Yeah. 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 Which one? Pray for you. Oh, gracious heavenly Father, we come to oh, yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lord, we pray right now that you will be the God. Lord, it 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 be Lord, it be the God. Lord, it be the God. Lord, it be Lord, it be the God. Lord, it be the God. Lord, it be Lord, it be the God. Lord, it be the God. Lord, it be Lord, it be the God. Lord, it be Lord, the outfit on the end, the beginning of the end. Lord, we ask you that you would touch your body right now, Lord. Father, we glorify your holy name, Lord. Father, we praise you. We ask that you would touch you right now, Lord. Father, we glorify your holy name. Holy name in Christ, the free man. Amen. Praise God. Lord, be to God. Appreciate you. like 87 years old and you know I thank the Lord for her but uh, it's not the end it's only you know on the beginning so uh, one day you'll see them again but uh, this song just says grass is greener on the other side this will be our last song
Well, I could leave today and be satisfied. But I hope that you don't think that I'm ungrateful. But I've caught a glimpse of glory in my mind. It's fixed on going And the grass is greener on the other side The grass is greener on the other side Roses never ever die Gone So we're going to do a song or two here. If I can get Bobby set down somewhere. I want to say that I thank the Lord again tonight. As you know, the songs were sung, you know, you know, these words touches my heart. 
And through the years, what God has done for me, I thank him tonight just like he knew it was yesterday. For many years that he's been good to me, like one the brother said, God will never do no wrong to you. That's what I tell Amen. people nowadays. This is the word that I would tell people. The healing, you know, whenever he healed me, when the doctor said it was over. Yeah. It, it's him, I told the boys today at my house. I spent most day uh, testifying to people. And this is what it is. Many years ago, he took my spirit. Whenever he gave me back my spirit, on my face down, cried, asked him, for God to save me. I told him that I did not want to die, ever want to die. And at the time, whenever, you know, he gave, like I say, gave me back my spirit, brother Bill, I seen earth, what we, you know, I used to think it was pretty, it was ugly to me. It was a trash, like a salvage yard. And then, that's whenever I made vow unto him that I will never turn my back regardless whatsoever the walk of life, my walk of life was going to bring me this walk of life. Even if it had to come down to by myself, that whole of the faith, that, you know, not turn my back on God. There's times, I believe I was tested. But, I believe in God. He's a powerful God. And he holds to his sin. And I ask people, are we able to hold our heart in? Yeah. God don't ever change. Yesterday, today, and forever. Right. Do we have that love and charity in our hearts, I ask people? Are we just talking the words that we know how to talk? We've got to prove ourselves to the God. We got to be that person who we claim to be, or else we don't go out there. Mm -hmm. And this is it. There's too many of them. You know, it's little while, and it's little while on the other side. But to God, <coughs> and our times on earth is getting closer. The end is coming for Jesus to come back. Just like in the day, whenever they asked Jesus, his disciple, whenever he came out of the house, and he met him, and he told him what was going to be before he's coming. He named him, and his disciples asked him, Lord, is this going to be at the end? He said, there's no rock upon one rock upon another that's not going to be thrown down. You know, there's a lot of times, you know, I've thought about, you know, even look at the mountains, looking at the bluffs, the rocks, and I used to tell people, all oh, this place is going to be leveled down one day. And he's going to use a thunder, God is, and he's going to shake the whole world. And this is it. I ask people, we, I tell people, we got to be ready at all times. We got to stay ready, be prayed up, because we don't know when his time is coming for us in this walk of life. And this is good when a man is awake, setting up, waiting on him. And that's what's going to be, one by one. There's all sorts of things that God is doing on earth now not on the people, but on earth. This is a sign. People ask me, Brother Bob, why is these things happening? I'll tell them that's what God said it was going to be. Before Jesus comes back, this is the sign of end time. And we're all going to go by tell them. One by one, two by two, but we're not here forever. We're just passing through. So let's stay prayed up and be ready, I'll tell them. There's many people I talk with every day. Brother Bill, I have church every day and every night. And I tell people it ain't just Sunday morning, Sunday night, or Wednesday night. 
This is 24 7 what God told me many years ago when He saved me. This is it. And we don't take no vacation. There's a lot of people, I've heard even the singers through the years, they took a vacation. No, uh uh. This ain't of God's word. This is carrying man his own things, what makes him want to feel good in his heart. And that don't count in God's way. And this is what it is. Whenever he healed me, many years ago, I got sick. There was something wrong with me. Nobody knew. Finally, the doctors caught it. I had cancer. And it was bad. I knew it was bad. <coughs> and they told me, they said, Bob, you're going to have to come in early in the morning. You got cancer in your throat. Your vocal cords is gone. Your voice box has gone. And we don't know how you got your voice here that you can talk. It shouldn't be, they said. You got a tumor sitting on top of your heart because of God ball one in your throat, your windpipe is smashing. Brother Sam, the doctor told me, he said, if we don't do operation, get this done. He said, Bob, you're not with us no, no longer than a month when I know. So let's do it. We can prolong your life. 12 years, maybe 15, he told me. And they, he had a paper. He gave me a pen. He told me, sign your name right here. So I got the pen. And I was, as I was going to sign my name, Brother Bill, I remember what I said to him. No matter what this walk of life going to bring me, I said, God, I'll never give up the faith. I'll stand for you. I'll talk for you. I said, no. I'm not doing it. He said, you better do it. I'm telling you, you just got this many days. You're going to be going. You're going to die. I told him, Brother Jim, I said, I know I'm going to go from this walk of life one day, but not on your term, I said. It's appointed for everyone to leave in this walk of life. It's going to come to an end. And this is what I'm talking about. Let's hold on to the end. Cause we're getting there. We're getting closer every day. And I told him, I turned around, I pointed at the surgeon, I said, it might be him, if I let him, to cut him, it might be him that's going into my walk of life. Here, I said, I'm not. I'm going home, I said. If I see you again in this walk of life, well, I don't. I told him, think about this, what I told you. But it wasn't just overnight God healed me. <clears throat> it was three months after that. Whenever he healed me, Brother Sam, it was over for me. I went to the end, Brother Bill. It was gone. It was over now. I had enough strength. I couldn't breathe no more. My air was gone now. It's blocked off, Brother David. I said, God help me. Whenever I said I felt something touch me on top of my head, whenever it touched me, it went hit to my toes and my toes went out. When my toes hit like that, he done went out. There's something he took out of me. Just like there was a cloth over me, somebody just pulled it out fast. And whenever he took that out of me, everything went. He took my mind with it. That's what happened that night. And whenever I came to, I was running about half a mile down the road. And I thought, what's happening? I stopped. I realized how far out I was. I ran back where I came from. And I told the people, it's over. It's over. God healed me that night. And there's many things I can say and tell y'all tonight what God has done. There's places I've been in this walk of life, didn't know if I was going to come back. 
if I was going to get out of it, Apostle Paul tells us, he teaches us, he went down to their level, didn't know if I could make it back. I tell people I'll be in there. I'm not boasting of who I am whatsoever. I tell people, one day I'm going to return back to which I came from. Thus man came, thus shall he return, he said. I can even move my little finger without Jesus' help. But I can boast on God, I tell you. I can boast on God. And that's where my help comes from, I tell you. That's where our help comes from. And I thank God tonight that I can stand up and represent him. There's a lot of representatives in this world. Are they doing it right? Let some think well. Yeah. Let some think well. There's all sorts of talk going on now. Something is fixing to happen. So Brother Sam, something's fixing to break loose on the face of the earth. And it's not going to be good. This is sad, I tell people. Times I'm crying somewhere. Thinking about little children. Thinking about the grown-ups. Need to get ready, I tell you. If you're not saved, you need to accept Jesus Christ. Yes. Be baptized yes. in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Ghost. And walk in righteous, in righteous way to live right. For God. Because we all need it. We're at that point. There's too many people playing around in this walk of life. There's too many words I hear every day that shouldn't be, but it is. But that's what he said it's going to be. Whenever the king is nearing for Jesus to turn back to us again. I tell people, yesterday, I told one of my brothers, we talked a long time, he's not here tonight waiting. We talked many words, what's going to be, what's going to take place. I told him, I said, well, we need, I've been talking about, you know, preparing. Get ready. We're going to run out of you. This is what's going to happen to us. And there's lots of time. Worse, but it's closing in on us. And this is it. It's going to be bad. Brother Bill. I tell people, I know where I came from. I know what it was in my time. And it's going to be a lot worse than what it's going to be. I tell them, I ain't seen this. But in my heart, God showed me many years. If I'm not here when all this happens, I've already been there in the spirit. But in physical, no, I ain't been there. But I know it's going to be tough. And this is what it is. This is what's going to happen. And I just like to talk about God. I love to talk about God. One time, I was enemy to God. I did not like God. I did not, I didn't want you to tell me anything about God. I'll tell you right quick. That I always tell you, go do your business, I'm doing mine. I'll take care of my business, I'll tell you. But today, I need help, I say. Help me. I need somebody to back me up. One time, I just uh -huh. do it all, well, I tell you. Well. Today, it's different. I'm no different now. So we're going to sing a few songs. Me and my brother's been singing. For many years now, and they're growing old with me now. Whenever I start teaching them to sing, there's little bitty boys. When they was about this big, they thought they was big. I tell them, boys, you never get that big around me. <laughs> yeah, we hold together, we do things together, and that's who we are. We never did, anybody never did give us a group name, so they just called us by our last name, didn't they? 
We call it a petty boys. All right, petty boys, are y'all ready? <laughs> Way a while ago, I was watching him. Whenever he was setting up, I thought he's going to leave like that. Whenever I get up there, it's still going to be like that out there. And I was right. <laughs> yeah, we thank God. All right. Most of the songs we sing is in Turkey. But it's good, you know, that we can worship God in the spirit, yes. and to feel the spirit. And I think James got the words, he knows the words which we're going to, you know, the title of what we're going to sing. And I want to introduce our uh, lead, tell him. <laughs> Bobby Pettit. Mr. <laughs> 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 Bear Paw. <laughs> <laughs> and we're thankful that, you know, he backs us up, you know, in music. And back down the days, he used to play a different kind of style, and I did too. And before, and way back in 50 years ago, we missed each other somewhere. But God brought us together. We play the same style now. Bob Bearpaw. All right, Jim, what do you got? The girls are bringing the book. <laughs> they told me to write down the song before we played last night, but my sidekick's over there. They're uh, slacking. Yeah. 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 All right, so I'll do, I'll, I'll do the picking tonight. <laughs> All right, someday we'll meet in heaven. After all this time, this trouble sometime, we're living with someone to hang on to the end on the other side is going to be better. <laughs> Hold on. 
Why, we're going to sing another one? The title is, what the title is this, Tex? He will pilot me. Yeah. 
Mind getting close at it? <laughs> you know, Jesus Christ can do anything. Amen. Man, you know, I always wanted to play a guitar or something. I always watched all these guys play guitars. Step back down to stare at them, you know. Yeah. Willa Ballard, Bear Wayne Christian, Bob Bearpaw. All these guys, lead guitar players, rhythm players. Then I'm watching, man, I was one, one to play guitar so bad. But I could never pick it up, never get the hang of it, but something. Robert T. let's try it in G. One ring clip to G, Jim. Uh, the title of it is All oh, Heaven in Life. G. Oh, the resurrection morning when all the dead in Christ shall rise. talking about in the world, it's like, all you know God's children, they gonna go home one day. We call it, where the saints have gone in church and song. All right, do you want to take over our text? You want to, which one you boys want to start this song? I want to play All right. <laughs> Thank 
And Lord, when it's all yeah. said and done, Father, and everybody gets ready to leave, we just pray for traveling grace for everyone back to their homes so that they can all be back in church somewhere in the morning. Yeah. Father, we ask you all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 How old are you? Are you Bob, like you said earlier, him and Bob Dave used to play all different kind of music back then in the back 60s. And Bob had a guitar, he had a guitar, and every time he put his guitar up, I'd go over there and pick it up. Go do them strings one by one. And one day I thought, man, Bob wasn't around here, was doing something outside. I grabbed his guitar and uh, tuned it all over the thing. <laughs> you know, like I said, Jesus Christ can do anything. I did not know nothing about a guitar. All I knew was the sound of guitars. I always loved guitars. I just kind of tuned it. That's, all right. <laughs> That's the first thing that I've ever learned about a guitar. I tuned it back. 
Bob come in every time he come in, he go pick his guitar up. I sat back and watched it. He picked that guitar up, started playing on, never said nothing. The guitar was in the tune. And after about 30 something years, sister wanted to play music. You know the guitar player. We've always had trouble for other guys playing for us. We could, we could never sing, you know. We always wanted to sing really, really good, maybe the best that we could for Jesus Christ, you know. And one day he said, Lord, I said, I've never asked you for anything in this life. I'm going to ask you something. You'll do it for me, Lord, I said. You'll do this for me, I said. Lord, I said, I want to I wanna play for everybody in this country. When they sang the dirtiest, I told them. I used to watch people. They get up there and they could, they, they, could, they were singers. But the guitar players couldn't. They couldn't play for them. And to me, like when I used to watch them sing, they seemed like they got embarrassed, you know. And that, and that made me feel bad. Because I knew they wanted to be a really good thing for Jesus Christ, you know. That's why I made that prayer. If, I, if you teach me this guitar, that I'll, that I'll be able to play for anybody in this country. All right, three nights, I picked that guitar up. I didn't know what chord was what on this guitar neck. I picked that guitar up and I played 27 songs. He handed me that guitar that night to Jesus Christ. I thank him for that. Amen. And another thing, he taught me how to read Cherokee. I can read full Cherokee. I could speak it and everything, but I could never read it. He gave me that gift. He's given me two gifts. Mm -hmm. The boy that was here earlier, that's my son, my third son, from Ponca City. When he was a little boy, he got sick on us. He nearly lost him. The doctor said they couldn't, they couldn't draw blood from him. His blood veins were collapsing. And the doctor said there's a bunch of us gathered around that's trying to draw blood from him. He said, if there's anybody in this building he said, if there's anybody that believes on God, he said, you better start praying now, he said. He said, because we're fixing to lose this little baby. My heart dropped to the floor. I staggered a little bit. I walked off. I remember what the Bible said. He said, when you're going to pray for the man in secret, he said, go over yonder. He said, go in the closet. He said, go pray over there. He said, he'll hear you. Yep, yep. I walked over there to the end of the hospital in Ponca City. I got down on my knees there in the corner and I cried out for Jesus Christ. I said, Lord, I said, if you'll give me my boy back, I told him, I said, if you'll give me my boy back, Lord, I said, I'll serve you like Bob said. I said, Lord, I said, if I'm, to the end, if I'm by myself, Lord, I said, I'll never turn away from you. If you'll just give me my boy back. And I said, Lord, I said, send a doctor to you. I said, you, you bring the doctor, I said, to help my son. But through you, Lord, I said. So I went back up there, just soon and no soon I got there, there was another doctor coming down the hall, whisking around. And they couldn't draw blood from him. his blood veins were collapsing every time they'd stick him. And the doctor walked up, he said, hand me the boy. And it then he said, what's the problem here? He said, I don't know, we can't draw his blood. The blood bands are collapsing on him. He said, oh, he said, he'll be okay. He was in his pocket, pulled a needle out or something, holding the little boy. Man just stuck him right in the big cupboard up there. And that blood just pissed out. He said, get the blood sample and bring them to me, he said. He took a little bit, he come back, he said, Mr. Pettit, he said, your boy lost potassium, sodium, he said, all of that, he said. Well, he'll be fine, he said. He said, you guys can go home probably in two days, he said, your boy's going to be good. So at midnight, at midnight, after work, I'd run back to the hospital and go over there with my boy up. Hold him and we lay on the bed and I hold him. I stay all night. 
we're thankful. We're going to let them sing one more song, and then we're going to dismiss. And, and we've got food here in the back, so everybody don't run off. All right, yeah, so we don't even know this and all that's fine, huh, Do you understand me, Bill? Oh, yeah. What did I say? <laughs> 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 all right, now, this last one, we didn't know the title of this song. We titled it, put the title on ourselves. What it's, the word, what it's talking about in the word, it's like, all you know, God's children, they're going to go home one day. We tell it, where the saints have gone. In church and so. All right, Jimmy, you want to take over our text? You want to, which one of you boys want to start this song? I want to play it. All right. <laughs> Thank you. 
Amen. We're glad to see Brother Bill with us tonight. I tell you what, I, I tell you what, he's, he's always been a blessing to me. Amen. Down through the years. Uh, I won't say how old I am because that will put him at old he is. Amen. Glory be to God. We'll put this back. I remember him being in preaching since I was a teenager, so I was leaving like that. <laughs> all right, well, let's all stand, and we're going to ask for the field to uh, ask the blessing over the food, and you'll be dismissed. Father, we come to you, Lord, in Jesus' name. We're thanking you, Lord, for this night. Thanking you for all your blessings. Thank you for all the songs that have song been lifted up tonight. Father, Lord, we've had a good time. We've had other ship. Enjoyed the songs, Father. And Lord, thank you for the pastor here. Amen. Really give us, bless him and the congregation. And Lord, there's, uh, as you provided some food tonight, Father, we just ask that you would bless it for the nourishment of our body. And Lord, when it's all said and done, Father, and everybody gets ready to leave, we just pray for traveling grace for everyone back to their home so that they can all be back in church somewhere in the morning. Father, we ask y'all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 How old are you? Are you ready? Thank you.